Hello everyone, welcome to scardia.com. My name is Dr. Saima Mushtaq and our today's topic of emergency medicine is the abnormal behavior. The topics or outlines which we will discuss in our today's topic will be the anatomic essentials and in this anatomic essentials we will talk about what are the main uh, etiologies that can cause uh, abnormal behavior in the person, whether they might be the uh, uh, functional psych uh, psychiatric causes or they are the uh, organic medical illnesses. So that we will be discussing in anatomic essentials. Next, some red flags. What are the red flags indicator of the abnormal behavior uh, in the toddlers, children, in the elderly individuals? And what are the some conditions which we uh, should be very, very carefully looking at or monitoring that might cause abnormal behavior in the individual? History. History is very important. How important, how, what are the different questions we should ask the patient when they come to the hospital or the clinic with abnormal behavior uh, that we will be discussing also in our today's lecture. Then the physical examination of the patient with abnormal behavior. What are some findings we should pay attention, uh, whether it's in the uh, eyes, head, ear, uh, throat, all these important uh, examination or findings which help us uh, to find out the cause of the abnormal behavior. So physical examination is very important to find out whether the uh, abnormal behavior is due to the medical organic illness or it is due to functional uh, psychiatric illness. So physical examination we will discuss in detail about the physical examination and what are the findings. Then the differential diagnosis of uh, abnormal behavior, we will be discussing also in detail whether it's uh, due to infectious or metabolic uh, conditions or due to uh, some uh, vascular uh, injuries, cardiopulmonary or due to the diabetes, all these different di differential diagnoses which can can be uh, important, important in the patient with abnormal behavior that we will be also discussing in our today's lecture. Then diagnostic testing, specific diagnostic tests. We will discuss what will be the specific diagnostic test uh, like uh, drug test uh, for the patient who are the drug abuser or we can also use the uh, blood glucose level for diabetics, uh, lumbar puncture, CT scan. So all that we will be discussing uh, the uh, for the um, diagnosis of abnormal behavior in the person. General treatment principles, what will be the general treatment principle for the patient with abnormal behavior, whether we need to uh, restrain the patient, physical restrain or the chemical restrain, or whether we need to uh, admit the patient or do the observation, let them go. So what are the different uh, options for the treatment of the patient with abnormal behavior will also be discussed. Special patients, special patients, uh, elderly patients, pediatric patients, and immunocompromised patients we will discuss also in the lecture. 
disposition of the patient with abnormal behavior very important how we dispose disposition them that we will be discussing in the lecture so all these topics will be discussed in our today's lecture abnormal behavior and besides this we have other uh, videos available on the website on the uh, pulmonary diseases laxatives on the uh, other uh, emergency medicine so you can always log on to scardia.com and look for all those lectures thank you for watching scardia.com